TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing aftershows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Good song, Bonnie. Good song. <laughs> Excellent choice. Welcome to After Buzz TV. You are here for episode eight of Murder in the First called Out of the Shadows. I am loving this song, like for real. I almost forgot what I was supposed to say, and I was going to start singing the song. With you guys, like always, it is Monsi Bolanos, and across from me, like always, Michael Andrew. Hey, I'm Michael Andrew. Uh, Twitter, Michael underscore Drew, Michael E-A-L. That's great. And Hi. look who's back. Bonnie! Yay! Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie, where can they find you? Oh, hey guys, you can find me at Bonnie Kathleen one on Twitter and Bonnie Kathleen Ryan on Instagram. Yes. Oh. And you guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Monty Bolanos, but let's get right into it. This, right? This one. When, when we Go, finished tell watching me, tell it, me. the first thing I was saying was like, I don't know what's happening. Like I don't know what's going on. Like everything is like everything's connecting, but even though it's connecting, it's not kind of it's not really connecting in the way I thought it would connect. Mm, and right. it's really cool. Like I'm genuinely afraid. Like every time something was <laughs> happening, I was just like, uh oh. I see something gonna I I was afraid that this episode was gonna end with someone I like getting killed. That yeah. didn't happen. Not yet. Thankfully, not yet. But I was not just yet. like, Oh, this looks like it's going in that era area. The yeah. union they have. They seem to have all the power. They really and do. They have, they, clearly, they have no problem killing people off. No. And that's not good. Not at all. Especially for my girl Raffi, because she's like on the. She's on the line. <laughs> like Raffi's on the line. But what is she about to find yeah. out? She's yeah. hanging out with Sugar. She's going at the union. Like she's doing everything. She's pushing everything to the. She is. She's, she she is. leads a stressful life. That's why she's smoking weed. <laughs> She's calm. She's smoking weed. I'm like, damn, Raffi. She's if, stressed. If it is your first time joining us, listening to us, Michael is in love with Raffi, in... and uh, we have to talk about her every single week. I'm just aware of her. I just I see something, in her, and I'm aware <laughs> that she's going like out of everyone. She's I feel like she's dealing with things, mm -hmm. and I'm like, you know, more than all the more other so. characters. More so. I'm like, I see. Right. I okay. see. You. I see you, Raffi. She just needs somebody to talk she does to. Too. Okay, yeah. I, I, you know what? I take it back. He's just being a gentleman. I just, just care. caring. I'm like, yeah. I'm like Mulk. Yes, you know? like Mulk. You're you the Mulk of After I'm Buzz. the Mulk of After That's Buzz. what we were saying yeah. before we... Troubled females. Right when I we can... took that selfie before you got here, yeah. that's what we were saying. Yeah. Trouble, troubled females, I, I'm like the white knight. Is that what you say? I'm a white knight. Yep. I come like, I understand your issues, girl. Yeah. Come here. Let me de-stress you. All right, can you de-stress right, so. Dustin? Even though he's not stressed at all. Yeah. He Ever. Pretty, he he's so calm. calm. Even when he was sitting here. Mateus right. last really? week. Just so calm. Huh. Really cool. Yeah. It was like, you are not 16 years old. Get out of here. I know. Get out of here. He was bigger than me, too. <laughs> like He shook my hand. I was like, oh, all right. Like, you're 16? <laughs> okay. Maybe don't say that out loud. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, Dustin. We only see him for a little bit, but hey. It's, I love the scene in the courtroom. I really liked it. So they said that he was um, 18 counts of murder, 30 counts of attempted murder. Wow. And that he had waived uh, a, a, the chance the jury, the jury trial. So the judge said, nobody's here to think for me. I was like, great. That's great. Because that's yeah. a good judge. Um, what did you think, or both of you, of the opening arguments on both sides, from Saletti and from Jamie. I thought Jamie, Stiletti was pretty much by the book. I, I expected him to say that. But uh, Jamie, it kind of, even though she said what she said, it still didn't sound right to me. You know what I mean? Like, even though she, she said like, and I'm here to prove that he deserves mercy. I was just like, it, it didn't, it still didn't make me say, Oh, okay. I, I was still like, nah. He doesn't deserve mercy. And I, and you know, even though I've been seeing a lot of different sides to the, the character of Dustin, mm -hmm. when they said what he did out loud, mm -hmm. it it just sounded so crazy to say the crime that he committed and then say, then follow with, I'm gonna, I'm here to see if we can get him mercy. When you consider the fact that he like murdered like eighteen or how many, how many uh teenagers. Man, I'm gonna so, have to disagree with you. So I was yeah. like, uh, I, I'm gonna have to disagree with you really? because after Saletti gave his opening arguments, which was 
all he literally had to do was read the death penalty law. Like, that's all he had to say. And I was like, what could she possibly argue right now? Mm -hmm. I was not. And then when she brought up the value of life, like, I was like, oh, man, that's the only thing she could have done. I thought I was great. I loved it. I was like, that's that's going to be a problem for Saleti. <laughs> no? Did you? Yeah. No, I... um. I totally agreed. I thought it was a great example of how your attorney or one's attorney mm -hmm. is becoming you, representing mm -hmm. you in court. Mm -hmm. And that as soon as Saletti made his argument, I was like, that's completely mm -hmm. true. You know, it, it, that's the death penalty. He does technically deserve mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And then when Jamie got up there, I had so much sympathy. Mm -hmm. She was so persuasive mm -hmm. and, and so vulnerable mm -hmm. and I was like oh man I, I feel bad I want to yeah. hear what she has to say next so maybe yeah, she, that's right who is she this said it child vulnerable. yeah who is this child what are we going to find out about the other 16 years of his life that that make me say no he decided he needs a second chance I think the the crime you know, the crime was so extensive was so like so like so grand that and she she was everything you guys said she was she was very you know empathetic and uh, she like she was she was awesome but the crime is so grand that it just wasn't enough there's nothing that she could have done to make me say like because you know she could literally be like oh well you know and and just make you feel for him then but after saying after making you feel for him then once she says and you know i'll make you feel for him after he murdered all those teenagers you're like oh yeah yeah you know i just like i couldn't i couldn't fully like i see i kind of want to hear his story but then again just execute the guy or put him in prison forever. You know what I mean? Like this. All right. You know, I mean, he, but see, but that's she's that's what she's saying. Okay. She's arguing keep him in prison forever. Don't kill him. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay. See. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to tweeting, Rafi. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. In, in between the two. Yeah. Because that's still, what she's arguing. She's not arguing to like let him be free. I know. I know. But she's arguing don't kill him. Let him be in jail forever. But don't mm. kill. But I feel like Jamie is going to argue for some sort of insanity. Not not necessarily insanity, but the idea that he's sixteen, whatever trauma, like because they set right. up all this stuff with his uncle mm -hmm. and whatever happened to him when he was a kid. I think she's going to try and argue that at some point maybe he can be rehabilitated. Mm, I don't know. Definitely. Like, yeah, all right. Definitely. I'm not with it, but yeah, I see what you're pointing Yeah, I, I but see. I think I think in that moment I think that's what she's first arguing. But I totally agree with you. I think she's has more yeah. that she wants, not just let him be in a four by four for the next he's sixteen well eighty years if that. Seventy years. He committed mass murder, guys. I mean, it, it's, okay. you know, okay. I'm just saying. Okay, let's not get him more heated. I'm not. He, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I just, I'm just saying. Rafi gets him heated in a different way, and then we got this kind of heated <laughs> like, in an angry way. He's just really way. invested in the show. No, I'm, I'm, we I'm, appreciate. Thank no, you for oh, caring. Thank, thank you. No, but, <laughs> but, like, seeing, no, because, you know, Mateus was here last week, and I'm not going to lie. Like, having the guy here. Were you scared? And, you know. A little bit scared? Uh, no, but, like, because okay, I mean, he's a genuine guy. What did he just say about shaking his hand? He's a little bit scared. He's a genuine guy. He was a, he's a good actor. So you're just like, you're kind of rooting for him. You kind of want to see more of him. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but then when you kind of put yourself in the real position of, like, that was real life, you're like, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I would kind of be pushing for the penalty, the max penalty. Yeah. Well, but, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I just wonder how they're going to have time to handle that storyline when all of the other stuff is happening. <sighs> oh, yeah. Like, this was a big episode. It was a big episode, and that was just, like, what, two minutes of the episode? So, yeah, you're right. Let's talk about the big picture because mm -hmm. it's all connected. They're all connected. We open up the scene with the funeral, and Sugar is carrying his sister, uh, Tania, out, and it's kind of rough because uh, his mom loses it, which any mom would. He goes, and, full black funeral. Oh, right? my baby! Yeah. Ah! You killed my baby. <laughs> 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 and this is blaming him. It was beautiful. It was awesome. Uh, it was, but I felt, I felt for him. I felt it was like tough to watch. And then you see Rafi and Zai. Is that how he? I think, I think Zai. that's he pronounces it. The her her like partner. They're Sorry. watching nearby. Just. I know that. I found that kind of like that, I thought that was kind of like cold. They're just sitting there chilling and like like these black shades just watching, just overviewing the whole uh, funeral. Well, Sugar must have felt the same thing because he walked right on over to them. He also wanted to talk to Rafi. So. He did. He I did. don't blame you, Sugar. <laughs> I don't. I don't Forgot blame about you. that. You're right. So he wanted to go talk to Rafi, just like Michael, and also <laughs> to ask 
uh, you know, like, are you here for condolences or are you here because you're going to, you know, arrest me and give me problems, whatever? They're like, no, just, you know, here to pay our respects. And this, I thought it was so interesting how Sugar asked Rafi, like, what, what do you know about my sister? You came and talked to me and she completely tried to blow it, tried to blow it off. But he said it like four, four or five times. You know nothing about my sister? Oh, you you don't know anything about myself. I mean, if Sugar said that to me, while you know Fatty yeah. B is like right next to him, I'd be, I'd be terrified. Yeah, but you know, but that's why you're not Raffy. See, Raffy, <laughs> no, but like she's like she's been through the fire. That's why she's in the. That's why you know but, you see she's punching walls. Do you think that she knew something about her partner potentially being dirty in that moment? Like, was there a reason she didn't want to well, say it in that. front of him? I. Maybe. I just thought she didn't want to say it because she was making sure she had all the information before mm. she said anything, you know? I think she, that's what I thought at the moment. That it's like she knew stuff, but she didn't want to say anything out loud until she knew 100%, especially next to her partner. Right. Like, it was just more like, let me make sure that what I know is correct before I go off and tell you these things and then get you heated. And then mm. you go off and kill somebody. I was kind of afraid that Rafi might have been dirty, was hiding something. Because I still feel like there's, I still feel like there's mm. a lot going on with with Rafi that we don't know. Because every oh, yeah. time she, every time she talks to Sugar, it's always just like, do they have a past? Mm -hmm. There's something going on here. And I you know, agree. there's always like this secret. There's always seems to be like a background to Rafi that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of afraid that like, oh, does she is she dirty? Yeah, you know? I agree. So that's what I was afraid of. There are times when I don't know. If she's dirty or if she's yeah. good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe that's what I like. You know? I don't think, I think uh, uh, Emmy Raw's over here mm -hmm. is part of the union. Oh, yeah. Right? Look at I that face. I don't think she's part Look of the that. union. What could this face ever do wrong? <laughs> I don't think she's part of the union, but I, I think. I don't know what you're talking she's about. She's the inside man to the union. Oh, yeah. oh 100%. Uh, 100%. We said last week that you, you were the reason that Jaleel's body was missing. Mm -hmm. Jaleel's body is missing. Hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. does that sound familiar? I, I like I have a vague memory of that. Like, oh. I, mm -hmm. showed up in a brand new Benz. They were like, oh, wait, how would you afford <laughs> that? Brand <laughs> Benz. Uh, well, after the funeral mm -hmm. scene, which was good, I, I loved it. I loved all everything about it. The whole interaction with Rafi, because I thought, ooh, Rafi, you're stepping in something. You're stepping. That's when I was like, you are stepping in something, and you're gonna get sugar. Play. They got a lot of characters here that play scary well like sugar mm -hmm. plays scary well mm -hmm. like when he's really intent on looking at you and like trying to get his information it's really intimidating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah at the same time that this is going i think it's at the same time hildy and terry are still searching into sarah trans murder at this point they start to think maybe uh this is a cover up I got distracted by live tweeting at this moment yes what um <laughs> yes yes so basically they Think, they start to think that both the murders, Caleb and hers, are connected because they are both cover-ups. Like, they are meant to look like something else. Mm -hmm. ah. Even though they weren't the same M.O., they were both trying to be covered up in a way. Interesting. And so they uh, connect. Exactly. So they thought, that's that's how they thought this is possibly all connected. Yeah. And they... That seems like a big jump. Right. Well, and that's what they said. Yeah, that's what I'll And they talk said. about the forwarded message because mm -hmm. they say... You could forward a message with an app, get a burner phone, and it's just like, man, this seems like a big old plan to cover up what? Right. Yeah. What? So what did at that point? Well, it was it was nice to it was nice to see the Sarah, the, the Tran thing come full circle. Yes, I, like, I wow. agree. Like it's been a long time yeah. that we've Coming, been like yeah. wondering about Sarah Tran because it's just like floating, and now it's like okay. And then she was floating. Yeah, and that, that's why I really like enjoy this. That's one of my favorite things about this show. They do such a good job of bringing so many different story elements or dropping something that even though it may seem insignificant, you can go seven episodes down, and they still do a good job of cultivating it. So that right. by the, by the time you actually find out what the whole point of that was, mm -hmm. it makes perfect sense. It doesn't feel forced. Mm -hmm. No, and that's just, my favorite thing about the show. Yeah, it just enriches uh, the story. Hundred percent. Like by the time they admitted what was happening with, with Tran, I was just like, "Oh my gosh!" Yeah, it's all connected. It is all connected, and they actually do talk to Sarah's husband, who I at first I was like, "I don't know how much I trust him," but he claims that he didn't know she had a lover. 
because they think it's a lover, right? Mm-hmm. Because of the whole message thing. Uh, but they, you know, claim he claims, I don't know anything about a lover. She just really loved being a cop, though. So, are we going to see more of him, you think? No, nah, he's done. He's done? Thank you for being <laughs> on the show. That was IMDb credit. That was a two episodes. It's a wrap for him. That's Thank good, you. Though. Thank you so much. I wish I would have looked you up because yeah, I think you're right. I don't think we're going to see you anymore. Yeah. But thank you. And your lady friend, Rafi, mm-hmm. gets reassigned. See, Off of sugar. Yeah. No more sugar that she's been working on for over a year. I would have been so mad. I'd be like, uh-uh, Commander. Let me tell you where I'm going to stay. And well, stay she does. And stay yeah. she does. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad they showed this scene only because I guess it, it clears Rafi's name and that she's not part of the union, that she's not dirty, right? Mm-hmm. And does that mean that he was trying to he was trying to get her killed last episode, right? When he sent her to the, to the, the meeting between... Um, Crayola sent her? Yeah. yeah. Two ep- I think it was two episodes was two, ago. At the Grow House? Yes. Yeah. It was, he he set her, her up, right? Yeah, he gave her incorrect information, and she was like, whoa, right, what the heck? Right, she the bus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, Maybe. He, set she, up, he definitely he? set her up. I don't know if he was trying to set her up to get killed. But Maybe I to do, embarrass her. Yeah. Maybe. Throw her off her game. Or something. Maybe, yeah, maybe he wanted. Maybe he was just trying to find evidence to to make it look like she's unfit to get her off the case because she's too good. Mm, yeah, too and, close. and he doesn't want she her to get that. Figuring out what though. And he wants. He probably wants to put someone in who's in the union's pocket, right? Mm-hmm. Because the union clearly wants those two to go at war mm-hmm. and doesn't and doesn't want anything. You know, doesn't want to stop the. Oh. Doesn't want to clear anything up. Doesn't want to stop it. You know. She's so cute. She's like, like she doesn't know what's happening. Like she's adorable. I love like it. I that. just you know everything. Like, I just I know everything. I just really just really enjoy this. She's <laughs> reacting like she doesn't know, and she's like humoring us on our <laughs> assumptions and predictions. It's just the cutest thing. Thanks for being here, Bonnie. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I love also that Terry and Hildy finally know a little bit more about the union thanks to Junior. We see Junior kind of in the beginning of the episode. He tries to go ask at the the place where Sugar killed like Asian guy with like all those bullets. That crazy scene. Terrible interrogating. T- yeah, terrible. <laughs> you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. <laughs> okay. Break sober. Sure? I got to go. <laughs> uh, and he shows up to work, which Hildy thinks he's drunk, so calls him out on it, and he finally tells her that the union took his $70,000 gambling debt, and now he's kind of screwed. It, I think it's crazy how, like, Hildy goes... I, mean, I love the dynamic between her and her brother and how she goes right at him, mm-hmm. but I was kind of afraid for her that she went so like balls to the mm. wall against the union yeah like she was just like tell me everything you know and he's and he's staring at her like okay can you at least be some be discreet right mm-hmm. can we at least work through this she's like you don't even know who works for them she's like ah, don't worry she's just like oh. charging at it i mean it's hildy she's badass i know hildy, yeah hildy i love that i love that when it goes a uh, good cop well not good, like the cop duel between Hildy and English, when they're mm-hmm. both like deciphering things and just going at something head on. Mm-hmm. That's always my favorite part. When they're like stuck in a room and saying, oh, what, do you, what do you think? What do you think happened? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is what we got to do. Mm-hmm. That's like, those are like my favorite scenes. Yeah, and I think it also has to do, not only is she's a badass, but it's her brother. Mm-hmm. It's her brother. Like, that just kind of triggers something, you know? So Hildy gives him the money, like, moves money around and says, in exchange for everything you know. She's about a the union. badass. She's so smart. She really is. I know. She's so good. It's like she and she's such a cop. Like her father said, he, she's a great one. Yeah. Like she she did it to help him, but also she's trying to she wants stop. To this she's trying down. to yeah. Mm-hmm. She wants to nail this down. Find out what's happening for mm-hmm. real. Mm-hmm. And finally, this is when we find out. Well, we kind of all thought that Creola was po- possibly behind something, but it is confirmed because Junior says he was recruited by him. Right. And uh, when he received the money, he was sent to the strip club. Went to the VIP room, got the money, and that is the place where Sarah Tran went undercover. So it's all coming together. It's so she kind coming. of just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It mm. seems it seems that way, and that hmm seems something else. Mm, possibly, yeah. <laughs> is that what you think? Oh, mm, mm, <laughs> oh. So yeah, that we get that it's kind of it seems as though that's what it is. That's what I thought, right? That she's just wrong place, wrong time. Well, I mean, what? Well, she was undercover. What was she undercover for? It was like a, a a prostitution ring. Yeah, she was. But what Hildy or Hildy said that she was 
undercover at the strip club, the prostitution ring, and that that's what the union was using to mask their like money exchange and their right. deals and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that she probably started finding out about this union and unfortunately caught up in the yeah. wrong. Yeah, she probably in, in um, started burying, started digging deep mm -hmm. into it. They figured it out mm -hmm. and got rid of her. Yeah. And we also find out that the person who gave the money to Junior was Mulk's girlfriend, Alyssa. You're both naughty. This dude, Mulk. I'm like, yeah. but is it so crazy that I just thought she was a stripper? I, I just thought she was just a regular, a random stripper. Just who a just, regular stripper. No, just a girl who just works there. They just just mulk. loves Mulk. No, yeah, just can't get like, enough. He's just so innocent. But I love how Mulk even knows he's innocent. Like when she, when he goes, when he approaches her later on, mm -hmm. and he's like, okay, fine, I have a deficiency. But you didn't seem to have a problem with it before. You right. like my white knight, my white knightness. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, I, I like I like that. I yeah. like that he's aware. He's like, yeah, I know what I am. Yeah. But I'll still pull out the gun because he has no problem showing his badge or pulling out the gun when things get crazy. No, no not at all. Yeah, but eh. okay, the the stripper. <laughs> um, I didn't I didn't know she was that involved in the union. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. And that that, that was crazy to me. Yeah, I thought, I thought her direct involvement was gonna be with Sarah. Like, that she was just the oh, person yeah. that interacted with right. Sarah Me too. a that lot. Makes sense. I didn't think that her direct relationship was with the union. So that was a bit of a... <laughs> one of the many curveballs that this show has given us. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and then Hildy, you know, goes to talk to her, but gets nothing. Straight to the to point it. where Alyssa literally walks away and says, is that what you think? Because you have no idea. <laughs> but th that scared me. Because I was like, man, the, the union she is did that. She did a great oh, job. Oh, yeah, she yeah. really did. Yeah. yeah. Um, Liked seeing that scene. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Mm -hmm. And especially because it was so, such different characters, you know? Because Sylvie's so, like, calm and usually very collected. But, yeah, she seemed terrified. Yes. I love that. What did she say? She said, you have no idea what you're well, doing. Well, yeah. Well, no, she, because she, uh, uh, Hildy asked her, like, who are you scared of? Because I can protect you. Like, is that <laughs> what this is about? And then she says, is that what you think? Because you have no yeah. idea. You can't like, away. you can't protect me from the cops. Nah. You are the cops. Mm mm. The person that you the per, the person that she might have the cops trying to protect her are probably in the union's pocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. If I was, I, I wouldn't say anything either. It's true. Let's go back to stripping or <laughs> and do and doing the money thing, doing the money laundering. The Safe. last person Hildy said she would protect was Jaleel. It's oh, true. Oh, that's I completely forgot about Jaleel. Damn. I actually did think about that when she said that. I was like, well, yeah. how? I mean. Whatever this is, it certainly goes deep. Yeah, it goes deep, and we don't know. Yeah, the cops aren't good at, at protecting anybody, because half the half the cops in the precinct are dirty. Yeah. Who are you gonna protect? Yeah. And how can you protect how can you protect someone against some against something you don't know? Right. That's the toughest That's part. That's what it is. Yeah. That is what sucks. And Mo goes to talk to Alyssa at the strip club. <laughs> he interrupts her, and she says, "Well, you just cost me one hundred and fifty dollars." And he has a very really? touching that, moment, like you said. That was said. pretty expensive, though. $150 for what? Like, what strip club is that? It's $150 for, like, a lap dance? Well, what I are you talking I don't, about? I actually I don't know the rates. Yeah. Uh, Can you tell us? Not, <laughs> is, is, do, do you uh, know? I'm just... Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing. It, it would if seem like a lot of money. If you were to hypothetically be at a strip club, like, that $150 would be expensive. Just really expensive? Because that just, just seemed normal to me. I was yeah. like, yeah, strippers, that's expensive. That, okay, that's, that's, what, yeah. that's what it costs. I don't want to sit down and have someone dance in front of you and just give them $150. That, I mean... If I were to go to a strip club, I would think that's expensive, but I don't know. I don't. I would hypothetically. Right. Hypothetically. So you, you got to pay for drinks. <laughs> right. That's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe. All right. So Maybe. Well, we've all learned a lot about uh, we have. monetary exchange right now. Yes. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> that's where Mulk tells him a whole the whole thing about his uh, whiteness or what is it? What his is whiteness. White nightness. Whatever. Right? Is that what he called it? His white nightness. His, he didn't say white nightness. He goes, because she called him, she said. Uh, everyone thinks, that everyone walking in here thinks so they're like a white, a white knight. knight. Yeah. Right. Trying to save the stripper who's who doesn't know, who has daddy issues. Did she say that? No, but that's, I'm guessing that's the metaphor <laughs> she meant. I mean, she didn't say that. He's just making up his own line. That's, that, that's like, you know, that's the, I'm like, I was live tweeting. I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that's, you know, that's a stripper stereotype. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Based off television I've watched. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm saying. But so, of course. You know, and you know, so he thought he was coming in there to mm -hmm. save her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, then she she called him on it. Yeah. He was like, "You didn't have an issue with it before, but now all of a sudden you're talking to my friends." Blah blah. And now blah. you don't want to talk to me. You're scared. Who are yeah. you scared of? That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Who are you scared of? And I thought, I mean, I do think. 
that she's gonna tell him. I I, do, I think that that's where it's gonna lead to. Because if she's gonna tell anybody, it's gotta be Mulk. No. He needs to find a new girlfriend. That's what I think he needs to do. <laughs> that, that's she's okay. a little too like she's into money laundering. She's, I mean, I don't want to say there's nothing wrong stripping. I mean, she's, you know, she's got a, a wild profession, which is, you know, tough. But being a cop is tough, too, I guess. But the money laundering part. Stripping and money laundering mixed together, but that's, that's he even hard. Says to her, he doesn't know exactly what she did, because he even says to her, it seems as though it's nothing. He says that. Mm. He's like, it seems as though whatever you did is not that bad. Why don't yeah. you just tell me? So he really doesn't know. But he's such a nice guy. Mm -hmm. He's probably the type, of, the type of guy to overlook that. That's right. The money laundering? Yeah. Like, oh, he money laundered? But Mulk is like about the oh, law, about I feel. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like Mulk is about the law. He's like such a straight arrow. I yeah. don't know if he would. Especially something like that. Especially because it's mo money laundering with the union. Maybe if it was like money laundering with not something associated with the cops. Yeah, but if, they, if she's afraid for her life, then comes the white knight thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, you didn't mean to. You were a, he can save yeah. her. You're I a woman. see. You, she's that's frail. She, she, she doesn't seem like she's a fighter. You right. Know? You know, <laughs> you know like she's not, you know, it's not, she's, it's not like she's like Rafi and Hildy out there punching things. Yeah, I was just about to say, you know who doesn't need help being protected is Rafi mm. because she gets a visit from Sugar. What did you guys think was going to happen when that ha when when you when I you thought they were going to I thought it was going to get when, sexy time. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> me too. I was about to get upset. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I was well, like, I mean, it he's gonna might cry. have. She declined the call from Terry. And she didn't. And she wasn't. Like she, like they gave each other a look, and he looked at her like, "I'm mm -hmm. here." Yeah, I'm, see, already I'm here. here. Yeah, she's, she's like, like, "Yeah." It was so like this has happened before. That's the vibe I got. Oh. When, when he showed up, I was like, "Do they do this a lot?" That's but then he gonna... did. She did say, "Now does everybody know where I live, or just you?" She yeah. she did say that. It was, that. The, first mm -hmm. yeah. it was and, the first time. And she know, and she pretty she stuck him off. She said, "Who's here? Where's Fatty B? Or yeah. her, or her your lookout or your shadow yeah. or whatever." Yeah. Oh yeah, so, she checked him. Yeah, she checked him. So I don't yeah. think they've they've had a. Yeah, you're right. I forgot. I forgot she said yeah. that. So yeah. But they might have. But they clearly they have a a sexual tension. Oh, a hundred percent. And it's kind of sad that she totally ignored uh, Terry's call. Oh, sad. He was being so nice. He wanted to hang out with her later. Right. He's Especially too nice for her. Because in the we didn't talk about this scene, which was a small scene, but the scene where he's at the coffee shop, cafe, the little uh -huh. restaurant, with the other older police gentleman. In that, front of the cruise? No. Yes, that guy. That was a charming conversation. And yeah, and they talked about their wives and like their vacations and all that. But then he left him to go sit with Rafi. Yeah. And then she goes on and ignores his call. Tay Diggs, he's so he was so to use the term charming again. He was so charming in that in that little exchange. Like he's just joking yeah. with her. Then he gives her a little pound on her fist. Like, hey, if you need yeah. me, call me. And he and, walks away. And she just blew him all off. He was too nice. Yeah. Well, she was a total girl. High. We do that all the time. And he just was like, <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, it's okay. Well, Where do I find me a Terry? I, like that. Well, you I, probably wouldn't call him back. I probably wouldn't. See? You're right. Exactly. That's true. He'd be like, sugar's knocking yeah. on the door. I'm they sorry. They want no sugar. They want that sugar. <laughs> You don't come though, he's dangerous. Sorry, I got stuff to do. Yeah. Piercing right. piercing gaze looking at you. You don't know what he's talking about. You don't know what's going on. Mm hmm So yeah. But in in this uh, exchange of sexual tension and all, she does reveal some information, big information, mm -hmm. and says that uh, Tania was arrested for six ounces of what was it, cocaine or yeah. marijuana? I think so, cocaine. Uh, cocaine. Uh, yeah, was, I assume it was cocaine. Uh, but the report, her arrest report, said eight ounces, and six ounces was a misdemeanor, meaning she should have been out that day. Mm -hmm. Eight ounces is you you know they take her, but the report is sealed. And mm. she says there's no reason for uh, routine arrests, is what she calls it, to be sealed. And then he's like, why didn't you tell me sooner? It's crazy that, she would ex that he would expect her to tell, uh, tell him. She's a cop. Why that would she is tell you? crazy. He's that, like, I'm, I'm sure. Because he told her to. That's true. He said, tell me. Yeah, and he's sugar. very charming. <laughs> sugar talks. And you're like, okay. Type of thing. I found that crazy. That, that I found that, that he was expecting that. But she was also more relaxed, too. You know, yeah. she just smoked... Smoked a uh, doobie, smoked uh, a little bit, a little bit of that mariguana. Do you know, you it could have been his. <laughs> could have been. Was she looking that information up in this episode, or is that something we knew? Because I I couldn't remember the information about, about Tania. Tania. I don't think we ever saw her look it up. I don't remember that. She just. Mm, no. I think she she came across it, but I don't think it was shown to us right. how she came across it. Uh, but she does also say someone at eight five zero is after you. 
and it's probably Crayola. Right. That's what is implied, or they probably actually just said it. And I was like, oh, no, I, think, I, think, I think they said Crayola. Yep. Oh, Crayola. Good old Crayola. Good old. <laughs> She's all smiling. <laughs> I was I was actually afraid of Crayola. So I was like, Crayola's got power. I was more afraid of Crayola than every other than everyone else. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, Crayola. Well, before we get to that. Mm-hmm. Sugar and Chan meet at the park. Yeah. Chan has a little dog I'm named Chan. Pippa. <laughs> Pippa. That is the cutest name, A. Eh? And I love that because last week when we talked about Chan, it's like Chan was like, it's like a dad. Yeah. Like such a dad and so calm. Like he went, when he was with Sugar, he was like, you don't fight the cops. That's not something you do. You know, if you're a businessman, you worry about the business. Yeah. And, but he had a cute little dog named Pippa. But they, they come to the conclusion that, yeah, that it seems as though they, the, union wants them to go to war right and sugar says you want me to just sit and not do anything i can't live like that but chan chan and pippa can live like that and they go off strolling (laughs) off into the park for a little walk not a care in the world what i liked about that scene was i like the contrast between um sugar and chan because i always thought that sugar was the cool calculated business Mm -hmm. first but next to chan he looks like the emotional guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chan was just like, I only, I only make business decisions. Sugar's like, listen, my sister's dead. I need vengeance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've never seen like it was interesting to see him in that that light. Because mm-hmm. I usually, if you would have asked me, I would have thought Sugar was the one who right. was just like, listen, mm-hmm. you know, when he first showed up in the show, he seemed like that. Right. You know, business, business, business. Yeah. And to see him more emotional. All bets are off when your sister's dead. Yeah, yeah. it does. But. What's his name? His nephew died. Chan's nephew kid got killed. He's like, all right, blood That's for blood, true. we're good. Yeah. Once true. blood for blood was done, he's like, all right, back to making illegal money. Mm-hmm. You know? So, yeah. Back to making illegal thank money. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. you know, so, yeah. so Crayola, unfortunately, it, they, they get the information that it was a burner phone. They get the security tape. And right. you see Crayola. And just, he looks at the camera. He's like, what are you doing? I know. It was like what a full. We had to smoke. identify him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but it was like the fact that he looked because he didn't have to look. You could tell it was him. But he just like straight up looks at the camera. It's like, aren't you gonna kill someone in like five minutes? Why are you looking at the camera? What are you doing? Well, maybe. Well, he. Well, when you know when he got arrested, he was very fearless. So he probably you know he had, probably didn't have a care in the world. Like I'm with the union. I'm with the cops. It's true. He's like I am the union. Yeah. He does get arrested because they get a warrant, a search warrant on his apartment. And they say in one hour, this is all we got. And it's Junior, Hildy, Terry, and Kodo. And that's a box, and it's burner phones, weapons, the weapon that killed Sarah Tran. And they go and arrest him. Just like that. Barging right on in. I know. That, were, you guys were shocked by that? I was a little surprised. Shocked at how he handled it? Or shock, I, right, I was shocked with the whole last... They, they went right like, to it. Yeah. Like, of the show. Let's go arrest them real quick. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't... You're right. I did not expect Creole to be arrested in this episode. Like they just kicked down the door. They, both, they went yeah. down both ways. Junior mm-hmm. was right in front and center. If I was Junior, I'd be like, listen, you guys go arrest them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. out. I'm going to I'm not lay here. low I'm not here. during right. this. Yeah, and that's, the, that's where my normal man crush Monday from Sugar and Terry moved to Kodo today. Because he was <laughs> so badass. I was like, you go, Kodo. So you get my Man Crush Monday this week. Hey, I was kind of afraid that Kodo um, might be Union. Uh, that's blasphemous. That <laughs> like you just said that. And I don't... Go take a lap. It's, like, it's a possibility. You no. don't know. You can't consider it. I don't see that. I'm going to 100% disagree with you. I mean, hey, I mean, I, I like Kodo. Yeah. I like Kodo. But, you know. But I think that's interesting. It's a possibility. Uh, huh. Hmm. You think that's interesting? Somebody thinks it's interesting. Hmm. Somebody that matters here at the table thinks it's interesting. interesting. We all matter at this hmm. table. Uh, well, in Everybody regards- in this room <laughs> matters. You guys matter. In regards <laughs> to opinions of the show, <laughs> I feel like, you know, there's a whole higher yeah, I just hierarchy. think it's interesting. It's hmm. interesting. We'll keep it a little, uh, put a pin in that. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Okay. Why? But did you think that prior to today's episode? Well, when they seem so afraid of who, no, just during today's episode. So today's episode made you a little uneasy. About yeah, because it got me, you know, questioning who might be part of the union, who mm. do you trust, who you don't trust. And then I saw I Kodo, see. and you, some, and Kodo's the one um, officer you haven't seen too much of a lot during the season. It, it wasn't until like the last two episodes. He was shot, two. yo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Kill a though. second. That's a good, that's a good reason Jeez. to keep him off, keep him off camera, but also makes you question like, what was he doing when he was off camera? 
you know and you know there's a, there's this one moment last week where he left the office with that uh after talking to english and he had this glance he had this look on his face and then he kept walking it, it was like you know it was like a look of like okay he's contemplating something hmm. so i, I the know. only reason i disagree is because i think he's cool no, it's because he's very I, handsome. Very, but no, <laughs> no. I think the only reason is is just that he wouldn't have arrested Criola. Like, if he was part of the union, they would probably both know that they were part of the same union. And I think he could have, just like Criola tried to reassign Rafi, I think he would have reassigned everybody else. Mm. Well, and just been like Terry, you need to. I need to sneeze. No, but, I don't. Okay. But also. Uh, <laughs> But also, I was going to say bless you. Thank you. Um, I, I think you might have caught mine because two minutes ago, I was like, I'm definitely going to say this. <laughs> <laughs> then I, you came this way, I got it. But we both stopped it. Good, good, um, good. You. I know. You guys are welcome. <laughs> we care. I, I had an awesome thought. I just lost it. Because now you got me thinking about sneezing. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Creola no, reassignment. Yeah. Well, didn't they say that they don't know? Thank you. Didn't they say that they don't know who's part of the union? They don't yes, know who else is. They do. But I think Creola does. I think everyone else doesn't, but I think someone, I don't think he's just like a person in the union like Junior. Okay. Because Junior's involved in the union, you know what I mean? But I think he's someone much higher and he knows who's in it. Oh, 100%. Okay. All right. Okay. That's right. that's just what I think. You know, you make more sense than me, so I'll go with that. <laughs> I, I was just I was just theorizing. That's just, that's just what I think what? about that. You're right. You're right. Uh, and then Criola gets a visit from an attorney he doesn't recognize. That had to have been the most shocking moment of all the episodes. Wasn't that... The, out of all the episodes? Did you expect the lawyer to pull out a gun many, and shoot? No, but there are many things I didn't expect. Out of all the episodes, it was pretty shocking. I just... I mean, I, don't, I can't... So you're saying that was more shocking than episode one where Alfie and Dustin shot up the school bus? I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like... Because they're setting it up like, oh, okay, so we're going into... And, and, oh, I you see. Know. I see what you mean. And okay. if, you saw, if you saw the commercials, I'm pretty sure you would have... I think they, that was part of the commercials, too. But, oh. I mean, them shooting up the bus, wasn't it? Part of oh, the I see what you're saying. Okay, you were kind of just expecting it. Yeah, so... But, like, to have a lawyer come in, even though she, it looked like she was wearing a wig. Right. Yeah. So I was like, oh, oh right, yeah. that's kind of weird. Then she came in, and then she just pulled out the gun and just... With sang. that, do you think that is somebody we've seen in another episode? Oh, God, that don't... And we see. just missed... No, I don't think so. That'd be cr- who? Because she was totally wearing a wig. Like she you could was. tell she was wearing like an outfit, trying to look, you know, discreet and whatnot. For a second, I was like, "Who is that?" Like I was trying to stare, trying to. Who could it be? What What other woman is there? I don't know. I'm just saying. What if we came across her in an episode and oh. now she's back? But yeah, she goes in and she shows him. She's like, "Can I have you sign?" You know what I thought? I thought she was undercover for like Terry and Hildy oh. and that he was going to sign like a uh, gre- like agreement uh what am I like confessing a- mm-hmm. confessing everything that's really what i thought oh okay that's yeah, that's not bad yeah and then so i was super shocked when he when she did pull out the gun but that's instantly i was like oh they're going to get him to sign something that's going to help them yeah. find out more about the union or the case or whatever that's not what happened the moment she put her hand in the bag i thought <laughs> i was like okay something's up yeah and then she just pulled it out. That was that was yeah. pretty cool. She pulls it out, shoots him, and then before she leaves, makes sure that he's in the position she's a that pro. looks like he's reading. That was crazy. Right? She didn't even wipe the blood off his mouth. No, nope, like, nothing. Go. Nope. Just oh. fearless. Fearless. Left her bag there. Uh huh. Which I found interesting. I wonder if there's something in the bag, yeah, like on know, purpose. Yeah. Because I just found that, I was like, why? But at the same time, she did say, I'm using the ladies' room, so why would you have your bag? But you would, a lady would have the bag to the restroom. So I was like, interesting. Probably Use just a bag. decoy bag. Probably yeah. fingerprints on it. But then she just walks out, and that is the episode. That it was great. Episode. I know. It ended on such a high note. It was crazy. It was crazy. How many more episodes do we have? Five? Four. Is it 12 or 13? I think 13. So it would be five. This is number eight. Damn, that's a lot of episodes. Good. That's good. Yeah. A lot to, a lot more to, yeah, more information. I know. I'm so glad you're right. That it's only like two episodes left. Every episode is so filling. Mm -hmm. Filling, is that that right? Yeah. Yeah. So fulfilling. 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 Yeah. Thrilling. It's like a buffet of entertainment. (laughs) It is. No, but it's really. Did did you want to mention, I don't know. I mean, we could talk about it because I think I'm going to, I want to talk about it because I'm going to go into a prediction with this. The storyline with Saletti, his wife, and his son, Michael, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, that we, yeah. it was, we saw it throughout the whole episode. It was brief, but basically he uh, uses profanity in the teacher and gets suspended, and they're all getting, they have a family meeting, and he's getting mad, and uh, he 
storms off, shoves his mom out yeah, of the way. Yeah, that was extreme. Yeah, and it's like, Slutty, Slutty, do something, man. Be a father. Be the attorney that you yeah. are and protect your wife. Come on, man. It's like, I know it's your son, but that's you allowing him to just walk out of that of doing that is like no because then he's gonna think that's okay right so i was like you need to do something this i've always kind of been irritated with salati <laughs> this episode i was yeah. totally irritated he's with a you. terrible father and it's just like all you care about is work yeah that's all you care about and it's fine i guess but when you're having a son that's having troubles put the work aside yeah. right and that's... he's about to sleep with his secretary oh i know about to <laughs> Or already has probably has yeah probably yeah, that seems years. like it's 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 yeah. been on. oh yeah totally yeah. it's very intimate so, terrible husband terrible father and he's so. and he's pretending yeah. he's uh, he's there for like you know he's like he's a politician yeah pretty much right he he's a politician mm-hmm. and he's like the stereotypical politician you think he's dirty or you think he's just kind of stupid no I think he's like clean. oblivious I think he's you clean. know he's to, just, to like yeah. the whole union like just he's just like I'm focused on. Dustin, and that is where all of my energy is. I know. I mean, you know what? He might be union only because I feel like they have to somehow tie Dustin into the union stuff. Okay. Because I think they've done a good job so far of connecting everything. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not, that would make sense, but I, w- I didn't think about that, but that okay. would make sense. Yeah. And then there's a bomb threat, just to finish that storyline, but the, there's a bomb, a fake bomb threat to yeah. the school, and the mom thinks it's Michael. He finally shows up. It's, there seems to be a moment between Saletti and his son, Michael, and he says, like, what, why are you so unhappy, or, like, why are you so sad? And he's like, it's just the way it is, or something, something so, such right. a weird answer, yeah. like, yeah. To, to say to that. I mean, it's just the way it is. Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? Uh, but let's go into predictions. Jeez. I mean, all right. Because that was the whole episode, right? We didn't I can't wait yeah. to hear your predictions. <laughs> I can't wait to hear my predictions, because I don't got one yet. Uh. Perfect. Well, I, I predict that Michael somehow, like, this is not over. Michael will, this is what I thought when I was watching. I was like, what if Michael becomes next season's storyline? Mm. Like, the is- one of the issues. Because he's not stable. It doesn't seem like he's stable. And having your father, like, I, I, you know, maybe he kills his father. Maybe he kills Saletti. Like, I just think he's not stable. That would be exciting. That would be crazy. <laughs> but yeah, crazy. it's just like he's not stable. Clearly, he ha- even though he was physical with his mom, I think his closer relationship is with his mom. So it's like, if he's going to snap, it would probably be at his faja. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. I'm expecting a confrontation between Mulk and AJ. Is it a, I mean, not AJ, mm. uh, is it AJ? Uh, uh, Junior. Hildy's brother, Junior, Junior yes. Yeah. He's played by AJ. Yeah, Buckley. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. AJ Buckley, okay. Um, Junior. Um, to next week, Mulk and Junior, they finally have their head-to-head about the uh, the woman they both have in common. Mm. Um, that's what I got for them. That's what you got. And I still, I don't know, I guess maybe Sugar, I was going to have with Sugar and Rafi more sexual tension? <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm going to say with my prediction, I say Rafi dies by the end of the season. Damn. I don't think she's completely clean. Well, I mean, I don't think she's dirty. Only because... <laughs> you love we would We would have seen more of A it lot. now. Yeah. They, no. They, they were, they we would have seen more evidence. Right? Because every time she's, she's, she's met Sugar, she's met um, the union guy, and there's not enough evidence. Wait, which union guy? No, what's his name? Crayola? Yeah, yeah Crayola. And you know mm. she's not. She was not with the union. She, she's not in uh, Sugar's pocket. So I don't think she's dirty. I, I think we would have seen more evidence by now. Okay, I'm just saying I don't think she's completely now, she clean. No, she still might be killed. I don't think she's completely cl- clean, and I do think she will be killed. I think she's that character that hurts us enough to be killed, but it's not Terry and it's not Hildy. That's you know, like it can't be them. Oh. Well, I think you I just think, broke his heart. I do a little well, bit. I think I'm, I'm trying to think what's gonna happen with Terry. And, <laughs> Terry, he's, he's, like, no. right, he's totally thinking about other things. Yeah, it's he's not Terry, Terry, about um, Rafi's death. No, I, w- I want to see more between Terry, Sugar, and Rafi. I want to see because you know mm-hmm. she 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 ignored Ra- Terry's call, so Terry's gonna triangle. see her. You know, I think Terry's gonna. You know, I think her and Terry. You know, what about Hildy and gonna, Terry? Yeah, you know, that's a wrap. That's done for that. Why? They're too focused on work. They're better partners mm, than, than lovers. No. 
no, no. I think Terry and Rafi are going to, you know, mess up the sheets a little bit more. Um, and maybe Sugar and Rafi might. I think, I think Rafi's a player. <laughs> I think she's playing them, to be honest with you. I think Rafi is just stressed. She's relieving her stress and trying to solve crimes. Like, she's, she's pretty much the male. She's like, she's like, she's, yeah. She's like your stereotypical detective who has, like, you know, a lot of g girlfriends, but here's a woman, so she has boyfriends. I don't know. Okay, all right. What about Dustin? What happens with Dustin? There's five episodes left. He he's can't survive. Gonna, what did you guys predict board. last week? I predicted he's going to kill himself. Yeah, we said suicide. Oh, right. Yes, I predict he's going to kill himself because I think that Jamie is going to succeed in whatever argument, and he doesn't want that. He right. wants to die. He wants people to remember what he did. Mm. So I. that's why. I think... Jamie will successfully get him out of the death penalty, possibly even more. But I don't know what exactly, and he's not gonna have that. Mm -mm. Sorry, poor Dustin. No, I don't think that. I changed my mind from last week, <laughs> only because from the first season, and also because he likes to disagree with. Well, yeah, no, well, what the, do you? Know? The first season, it, it ended with that already. It ended with a suicide. So right. I think psych ward. He ends up in a psych ward. That's, That's just it. I mean, he's gonna end up. I mean, well, everyone wants him to die. They want him to get, go to prison. He's gonna be both cases end up in a mental institution. Huh. All right. Well, you know what? You guys can tweet us and tell us what you think. Yes. Right, Michael? Who do you agree with, me or Michael or Bonnie? Because she knows all the answers. Michael, where <laughs> can they tweet you? They can tweet me at Michael underscore Drew. Michael E A L. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and <Good>. say hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, and Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie Kathleen. Uh, at Bonnie Kathleen One, I think, is mm -hmm. my Twitter mm -hmm. handle. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other one you said Bonnie. Kath Bonnie Kathleen Ryan, Ryan for Instagram. Yes. Thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us again. Absolutely. It is always so fun to be with Yo, you. Oh, we love having you. Yeah. I only like watch. I mean, I love watching the show, but I prefer watching the show with you guys. <laughs> Please come back to the season finale. Maybe we'll have popcorn <laughs> and talk about it. You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Monsi Bolanos. M O N S E B O L A N O S. Tweet all of us. Tell us yes. what you think and rate us five stars on iTunes because you know it'll just all take five. you like thirty seconds. Yeah. yeah, right? Five. That's it. Five stars. Well, you should definitely do that. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> see, listen to her, who is evil. That is my prediction. She's evil. She's part of the union. Come back next week, and we will find out more. Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.